Fossil Fighters is a series of monster-collecting battling games. The first installment of the series was first released on the Nintendo DS in 2008. In these games, you play as a fossil fighter who goes around collecting fossils, cleaning them, and then using the revived dinosaurs, now called vivasaurs, to battle other fossil fighters. Vivasaurs aren't just dinosaurs, however. They also include flying reptiles, sea reptiles, ice age mammals, deep sea creatures, and even regular chickens. Many Vivazors have design choices that reflect aspects of the real-life creature they are based on. Here are 20 of my personal favorite design choices. Pachycetus was a relative of whales, explaining why Pachy has a whale-like tail. Shanshanosaurus, now known to be a juvenile Tyrbosaurus, was discovered in China. As such, its design takes inspiration from dragons seen in Chinese New Year's festivals. Utah Raptor was discovered in Utah, in case you couldn't tell by the name. Therefore, U Raptor has Native American-inspired head feathers. Onyx has a crown on its leg because Baryonyx was discovered in England. It also has fishnets on its body to reflect how it ate fish. Megalosaurus was one of the first dinosaurs discovered, therefore Megalo was designed similarly to what people thought dinosaurs looked like back then. Karcherodontosaurus was discovered in Egypt, in case you couldn't tell by Karcher's design. Braddocnine was discovered in Transylvania, so it was natural for Bream to look like a vampire. Supersaurus's name contains the word supers, a Japanese term for supermarket, which is why Perso was building on his back. Supers also serves as Perso's Japanese name. Seismosaurus means earthquake lizard, thus explaining the cracks on Seismo's body. Quetzalcoatlus's name comes from the legendary creature Quetzalcoatli, a feathered serpent, explaining Coatlus's feathers. Mayasaura was known for being a good mother to her children, so Maya has a crown and sings in battle, like good mothers do? Shellon has an X above its nose, anchors on its flippers, and a map on its back, meaning that it's pirate-inspired for some reason. Cryolophosaurus was discovered in Antarctica, giving reason for Cryo's light blue coloring and icy protrusions on its head and tail. Eoraptor is quite possibly the first dinosaur to exist, which is why Eoraptor has graying hair and a beard. Edaphosaurus used its large fin to regulate heat, which is why Edapho is a thermometer on its fin. Sauro Poseidon is named after the god of the sea, Poseidon, explaining his water-like appearance and why he has a trident-like head ornament. Scientists once thought that Apatosaurus had a brain in its tail, explaining why Apato's tail is a little head. One of Tarada's moves is Tarada Katana, which goes along with Tarada Samurai design. Eros Theon's name translates to Airbone, explaining why Eros is an airtight vivisaur. The fact that T-Rex's species name translates to Tyrant Lizard inspired the designers to go with a rock and roll theme for T-Rex, explaining its fiery mohawk. Sunichi E of Red Entertainment thought of the idea for fossil fighters after buying a fossil excavation kit from a hobby shop. He was disappointed that after all was said and done, all you had was a plastic bone. Around this time, he thought of the Nintendo DS and how it could recreate the sensation of digging fossils with the touchscreen. The first game in the series was pitched to Nintendo by Red Entertainment in 2004, before the DS was on the market. Though the game had a grand scale, it was turned down on account that it lacked concreteness. Hitoshi Yamagami thought the concept was interesting from the beginning, but he was worried about how long the game would take to make. Eventually, Art Ding and M2 helped in development, a stage that took over three years from initial conception and two years and several months from the start of production. Initially, the battles were closer to card games and took around 20 minutes to complete. Yamagami requested a change in how fossil battles work, though the novelty would decrease, the battle time would become shorter, and it would be easier to play. The training element wasn't there at first, and the initial idea was you get one shot at cleaning, and if you did bad, you'd have a weak vivisaur. Though Sunichi E was against the idea at first due to his fear of people just keeping the vivisaurs they got near the start of the game and not digging up any new ones, he later approved of the idea of training. Initially, there were going to be 50 vivisaurs, but the developers didn't think that was enough and they settled on 100. Whether it be intentional or not, the cast of Fossil Fighters does have some similarities to the cast of the first anime series of Pokemon. For starters, the main character is a monster collector trying to be the very best, like no one ever was. He is accompanied by a young female character who specializes in a certain type of monster, though Rosie focuses on fire vivisaurs and Misty focuses on water Pokemon. The two main characters are supported by a scientist researching these monsters, who is slash was an excellent battler. They are pursued by a villainous team that has a trio consisting of a woman that acts as the leader, a man, and an animal that can talk at points. Both villainous teams are headed by a leader who has an occupation outside of being evil. The leaders both prefer bulkier monsters, and at one point they were both in the possession of a legendary monster. Despite this, I could not find a fossil fighter's counterpart for Brock, though I suppose Hulk comes close in the manga at least. Most vivisaurs use a shortened version of their species name, aside from Mammoth and Titanus, who use their full species name. Vivisaur itself translates to Living Lizard. Terra is a shortened form of the species Pteranodon, though Terra is also the French name of the Pokémon Aerodactyl. Various characters in the game also have digging-based names. Dr. Diggins and the Dig Dig tribe are somewhat obvious. Even though Rex is a common dog name, I can't help but feel that a certain other Rex influenced the decision to name the dog Rex. All three of the main Donorian's full names are derived from Deinonychus, a type of dinosaur that Raptin shares a base model with. 
The main characters of Champions have the default names of Duna and Dina. It's really obvious where they came from. Tria and Jura, the default names for the main characters from Fossil Fighters Frontier, presumably got their names from the Triassic Period and Jurassic Period, eras in which dinosaurs lived. Many minor characters have names that are puns based on what they do, such as Knickknack, who collects knickknacks, Beginner, who runs the Trial Dig site, and Ty Tull, who allows you to change your name. Today's random useless trivial fact that you could have gotten your whole life without knowing is the fact that Ikdo, an air-type Vivsaur, has Hurricane as one of its skills, and Thalasso, a water-type Vivsaur, has Tornado as one of its skills. Hello there! And welcome to the world of Pokémon. My name is Oak, and I am a Pokémon researcher. Using the data collected today, I have created yet another Pokédex entry.